back. Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. Hello, my name is Bob. And today we're going to be reviewing what many people are saying was one of the best knockouts in all of UFC history. And I got to agree, my man Joaquin Numanta Buckley with a beautiful jump back kick to knock his opponent out after getting his leg caught at UFC Fight Island 5. We're going to talk about how this kick is done and some key details. Let's take a look. All right, so let's break down exactly how this knockout happened. So Joaquin is standing in a southpaw stance and he fires off a rear roundhouse kick, aiming high up into the ribs, maybe for the forearms or even for a head kick. So when he throws this, his opponent went with a three-point block. Bob, you remember how to do a three-point block? All right, so just protect your head. So he fires off this rear kick. What? Oh, Bob, I'm sorry. You forgot how to do the block? All right, here, quick refresher. So you're gonna stand right here. Your rear hand's gonna stay exactly where it's at. Now the opposite hand is going to reach across and that's gonna grab and what Impa did was pass. All right, so you remember how to do that? Okay, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna fire off that kick again. Just three point block, all right, ready? Here it comes and, ooh, come on, man. That was on you that time. All right, so just pass the leg, we'll go from here. So he passed the leg. Now here, Joaquin made a slight adjustment to where he just hopped, right? And he just faced that kicking leg heel at where he wanted to strike, right? To the head. So now he's in position here. What he's gonna do is he's gonna pull the leg that's caught down to the ground and then just drill that heel up into the face. All right, so it looks like this. All right, now when you're doing this one, it's very important, a couple different things here. What you need to be able to do first is throw a back kick without doing the jump back kick, all right? So a regular traditional back kick looks like this. All right, so let's break down uh, a couple different ways to get to that ultimate kick. And these are a couple of different things that I learned from uh, Quan Kicker, Micah Brock, for those of you who are uh, Quan Kicker fans. So it's all about accuracy with this kick. It is a mule kick or like a donkey kick where you want to bring the heel up to your butt and then fire it back, jutting the heel out to the target. All right. Because a lot of people will turn it into like a turning side kick where it comes out this way and then through. But like I said, if you want a back kick, uh, an actual back kick, then it has to be like that, okay? So, what we're going to do is break it down step by step, reversed. So I want to throw the kick, bang, put the foot down, now stop. And now we're going to go back from here. So instead of lifting it up and throwing it, I'm going to keep the foot planted, and I'm going to make sure my heel is still aiming at the target. And now you can see how it's right on that line on the ground, the crease. I'm just going to slide my foot back to this position here. Now I'm looking over my shoulder, I'm gonna to turn to look over my kicking side shoulder, and now I'm just gonna slide the foot. Try to keep the heels on the ground as you slide. All right, now just do this about 10 times, back and forth. Here, just making sure that the heel stays on the ground and that your accuracy is right. Because what you'll find when you do this first couple times, you go like this, you turn, and then you slide, and your foot comes across this way. But we're not kicking that way, we wanna kick, we wanna kick bot, right, Bob? You signed up for this, all right? All right, so from here, slide back, good. After we do that about 10 times, now we're gonna chamber the kick. So we're gonna bring our heel up to our butt, and now we're gonna fire off the kick. So using my peripheral vision to see where Bob's at, I chamber, back, then I fire off that kick. All right, starting from here, I can add the turn, turn, chamber, and kick. For anyone wondering, sand or water, water. <laughs> Never had a chance to put sand in. All right, so now all you do is add the hop on. But what happened in the case with the fight UFC was when Joaquin threw the kick and Impa caught, he passed it through. When he pulled this leg down, he pulled Impa's body into it because he was holding onto that kick. So you can see him sort of stumble into that kick. Now, ideally what Impa could have done is he caught it, he passed it, he probably should have thrown a leg kick and kept a long guard or caught it, passed it, stepped in with a right hand or something like that. But there was some slight hesitation and I mean, no one expected a jumping back roundhouse, not from Joaquin, right? That was his card up his sleeve. He's not known for throwing a lot of kicks, not known for throwing jumping spinning kicks. Um, but again, that's his card up his sleeve, so it worked perfectly. All right, so one more time. There was the kick, bang, it gets caught and passed. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, because I saw a video where it was compared to a move in Tekken, the game. Um, but in that one, it was a jumping wheel kick. But the answer is yes, you can do that instead, and that one works too. So instead of just driving it straight, the kick, it'll come out in and, and more of a circular motion and whip across. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna chamber my leg, but then extend it at about here, and then it'll whip across the face, and then I'll come back down. So it looks like this. All 
that. So let's break that one down real quick. And this was one that Corey Sandhagen used in the next, uh, later on in the night against Marlon Marais, knocked him out. So what that one looks like is, again, we're gonna pivot the foot, which is what we did earlier, just forgot to mention it. So we pivot this foot and aim with the heel. Now I'm going to turn, look over my shoulder, and now I'm going to chamber my leg up like this. And this is how I have a lot of people practice this move um, when it's their first time, is don't actually extend the leg. So pivot, point the heel, and then just work finding your balance and your spin, keeping a chambered leg. In the heel, spin the shoulders, look over, and then just pull that, that knee through. Once you get that balance of that down, then what I'm gonna do, if I'm doing slow motion here, is I'm gonna lift it up, and I'm not gonna extend until I'm about here. Then I whip it across, and then I rechamber and pull it back down, okay? So it looks like this. Once more. That was a bad one. Um, what part of the heel do you strike with? Ideally the heel. Um, those last two were about top of the foot. It's gonna give you a little bit more extra range. Uh, still enough to slap someone, to rattle someone. Um, but if you can get heel on the temple, heel behind the ear, or you know, like top of the head, we've seen a lot of those where it's just dunk, it's a knockout. All right, so whether you're spiking it straight, like a back kick, bang, or adding some circle to it, like a wheel kick or a spinning heel kick, bang, both are gonna be uh, a, good, a good option when someone catches your leg. But again, this isn't, this isn't one that we're gonna see anytime soon. It's one uh, that has been used in, in fights in the past, it's been used in movies, um, but the reason why um, we don't see it a lot is because there's usually not that pause of hesitation after you catch the kick. You're gonna use that opportunity to step in with a counter, with a sweep, um, to rush and push or something like that. Um, but what we saw was a just perfectly used strategy, which is having that card up your sleeve, something that they don't expect, um, and you can tell that um, his opponent didn't, right? Impa was was not ready for that at all. His eyes never even tracked the kick coming in, and before he knew it, it was the fight was over. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So again, this kick is flashy. If you land it, you're going to get a lot of followers. You're going to get fight bonuses, but it's not a high probability chance that it's going to land. It's a high risk, high reward type of kick. Um, but if you practice it and the timing is right, yes, you can use it. Um, but if you want different options, if you get your leg caught, how to get it out, how to defend yourself, or if you've caught a kick, different counters, different sweeps, then check out our courses on fighttips.com. Links in the description below. The first 14 days are completely free. If you don't like it within those two weeks, cancel. You won't get charged anything at all. All right, until next time, I'm Shane. I'm Bob. Fight Tips for the underdogs.